Hi, I'm Russell Beach and this is a short video on how to integrate Microsoft Office with your trusted BI data and to do that we're going to be using a tool from SAP Business Objects called Live Office. Okay, now Live Office will allow us to automate and integrate and we will be using working with trusted data now I'm working here with uh, just a normal PowerPoint but you can use Microsoft Live Office also with Word with Excel and with Microsoft Outlook okay let's start making the slides up so I go to slide 2 and the first thing you notice is that because I've installed Business Objects Live Office. I have a new menu option at the top of the screen called Live Office. When I click on Live Office, a whole new menu of options appear. Now, on the left hand side, I can select a Crystal Report, a Web Intelligence Report, or create a new Business Objects Universe Query. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to take web intelligence report. Now once I click on the web intelligence report I have to log on so I'm just going to put in my password and the reason that I have to log on is because via Microsoft PowerPoint I'm accessing Business Objects Enterprise so I'm having to validate myself through the security features and then I can see the reports that I have rights to view. This uh, folder structure is as you would see it if I had logged in through Business Objects Info View. Okay, so let me take a Web Intelligence Report. I'll take this one, Promotional Volumes. Click Next. Working within this Live Office Insert Wizard. And you'll see that this particular Web Intelligence Report has a table, a chart, and some sentences. Let me click on the table and also select some sentences. Click Next give the report part a name and what's going to happen is the table and the sentence become embedded within PowerPoint so we can click on the table and then we can reposition the table and I can click on the sentences now the sentences have been constructed in a clever way so they actually tell us the highest volume achieved and the lowest volume achieved and they will actually recalculate according to this table as we'll see in a moment let's give the slide a name volumes let's go to slide 2 and back to the web intelligence report click on the top left icon back to the report that we were working with remember it could be a crystal report or it could be a universe report, uh, sorry, universe uh, query we're building. This time I'll take the pie chart, click next. Percent. Click finish. The chart appears. Now we just click on the chart and position that, take that to where we want it to go. Of course, we can resize everything if we want to. Let's call this percentage change. And remember that although I've embedded some parts from a web intelligence report on the BI platform into this PowerPoint, for all intents and purposes, this is a normal slide. So I could, for instance, go to Slideshow, click Slideshow, and you'll see I'm just presenting as normal. I can go through the slide deck. Etc. I can save this and email it to someone else and so on and so forth. But here's the really clever thing because I'm integrated with BI data, when I'm making my presentation, I've minimized the risk of someone standing up and saying, Where did you get that data from? I didn't get those results. Because actually, I can say, Well, uh, this, the data in this report is coming via trusted BI platform is quality assured data 
And also, if I'm presenting with 60 slides, I don't need next month to go and get another 60 screen prints. I just make the slide deck once. And when I actually want to uh, refresh the slide deck, I click on Refresh All Objects, which is this button at the top of the slide. Or if I wanted to, I could actually schedule the Web Intelligence Report just to say the same. In this example, I'm going to change the parameters. Um, there is a, a prompt, selection prompt on the Web Intelligence Report. Here I can view it. I can select a brand or a fiscal period. I'll select a fiscal period and just what hap to watch what happens when I change the fiscal period to the data in the table and the sentences, the text around the table. Watch specifically, it will probably be most noticeable in this change percent minus 8.51 percent for Birmingham. So let me go to P10, change the prompt, click OK. And via PowerPoint, Live Office goes to the trusted business intelligence quality assured data and refreshes and you see that value has changed to 31.18 percent and if we go to slide 2 the total percentage change for Birmingham has also changed significantly and that is how I can automate and integrate Microsoft Office with trusted BI data